Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we're back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover the news that got released in game and uh, you guys can see right here we will be able to obtain a 5 star select 7 ticket which is always always really really good. Then Final Fantasy Brave Exodus Elemental Battle Extinction. I like what they did. The pun here with the egg. Uh, since it's the Easter event. Uh, so in ancient times, terrible fiends known as the Great Destroyers threaten the peace of certain world. Only the heroes known as the Precursor? Precursor were able to put a stop to their carnage then. However, now the Great Destroyer seeks the freedom to wreak, wreak havoc once again. Who will spare the innocents from such a fate? Us! We will do this so uh we're gonna fight the egg terminator this is uh, this, see this i like this is really cool uh appears in the dimensional vortex so exterminator uses powerful earth attacks that can reduce your party's resistance against this very element watch out for his powerful attacks which deals a tremendous amount of damage to a single target kupo use lightning elemental attacks kupo and be prepared by boosting your earth and stone ailment resistance kupo so hopefully this fight is going to be a little bit harder than the last ones we got but nonetheless the boss looks really really cool so clear each quest for a reward in uh intermediate quest you get a five star select seven ticket which is the best thing uh clear without an ally being ko'd you get the asterix replica uh basically you get one lightning elemental great sword with attack 50 and uh, as chance of evading some physical attacks, so I guess maybe it's a 10% chance, which is always really nice if you guys don't have any weapons that as evade on. Then, once you clear the advanced quest, use magic two times or more. Yellow egg, it's a throwing weapon, attack 10, spirit 50, lightning elemental attached to the weapon, enables natural vigor to Sylvie only, boost HP and SPR by 15%. Then once you clear the pro quest, elite quest, and legendary quest, you basically get one rare, rare summon ticket on each one of them. Uh, I think we're also going to get, I think it's like a mix of a King Mog and a raid event, where as you're clearing the quest, you get some, uh, some stuff. And also you're going to be able to exchange those coins to get some stuff. Now the real thing right here. Uh, I think, is this the character? No, I think those coins are only pointing at the sword. So you guys will be able to summon for that sword right here. And all uh, the uh, the uh, the stuff to basically make those equipment right here. We're going to go over them. The Tectonic Bracer. It's an accessory defense plus 15. Attack and Spirit plus 5. HP 5%. Boost Earth Resistance by 10%. Uh, basically enables the following. Tectonic Set. Boost Attack and Spirit by 10% with Equip with a tectonic crown so basically once you have this and this you get that attack and spirit 10 percent liveliness esther only you get attack 10 percent and cheerfulness for sylvie you get hp 10 percent then the tectonic crown basically defense 20 attack and spirit plus 10 everything is raw stats 10 percent hp boost earth resistance by 20 percent and resistance to stone by 50 percent once you have the tectonic set uh tectonic set boost attack and spirit by 15 percent when equipped with the vest so basically once you have all of these things equipped together you get extra uh attack and spirit on your character uh liveliness again 10 percent to esther only and cheerfulness you get boost hp 10 percent on sylvie only and the tectonic vest defense plus 25 attack and spirit plus 10 uh hp 10 percent resistance against to earth 20 percent and boost resistance to stone by 50 percent and uh, basically the tectonic set is the exact same thing so nothing changes get a lot of sunstones eggs coin earth crist and earth mega crist uh this is the bonus units that you guys will be able to use so if you guys have some zon and aiden you guys are going to be able to use them to get a little bit more stuff from the event now these are going to be the new characters and we're going to go over them because they look really really cool i gotta say they look really really good so without further ado bam let's jump in to the featured summon of Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. So the new characters you guys are going to be able to pull for. We're going to have Esther and Sylvie. And uh, they're going to be coming out in a step up banner. Which is pretty, pretty standard nowadays. So step 1. 4,000 Lapis. You get a 9 plus 2. With a, uh, they're bringing back those tickets. So basically once you get 4 of those tickets right here. The 5 star tickets. You get a 30% chance. 
to basically summon one of these two units. So basically it's a 30% chance to get a featured unit on this banner or a 60, 70. 70% 70 chance to get a rain, uh, random rainbow. So uh, not bad, you have to go through the whole step once and basically do the first step, uh, the first step of the second step up to basically get those four tickets. But nonetheless, they look really cool. I really love the new 9 plus 2. Uh, basically on step 3, you get an 8 plus 3 with a guaranteed rainbow. So if you guys don't have a lot of lapis to spare, but you still want to do some steps, maybe all the way up to step uh, 3 for 14,000 lapis, you can get a lot of good stuff. And uh, no, I really love the 9 plus 2 and the 8 plus 3. So Gumi, that's a step in the right direction here on Global for us. So that's really, really cool. Uh, grand total of 24,000 lapis. Not cheap. But uh, if you guys have the lapis for it, go for it. And hopefully you guys can pull those units. So without further ado, let's go on Esther. Sorry about that. Uh, attack 412, which is really, really high. We're going to go over a super TMR, which is really nice. Uh, it's a piece of clothing. HP 800, which is really good. Attack plus 40, defense plus 10. Enables killer instincts and exquisites weaving uh, Esther only killer instincts boost physical and magic damage against stone machine monsters That's really good. So you basically get killer abilities now the real question is it 50% or 75% uh, I want to go with the 50% or else that would be really really strong But we never know then exquisite weaving Esther only boost HP by 20% and attack by 30% So that's a really nice super TMR I uh, gonna be kind of hard to get but nonetheless, that's a super nice TMR then our trust master Storm kickers. I love those boots. Uh, accessory attack 45, defense plus 10, enables inner limit and stormborn Esther only. Uh, basically, inner limit booster HP by 20% and booster LB damage. And stormborn Esther only, restore own HP based on the amount of lightning damage received. So that's really uh, special. So if ever you're fighting a boss that does lightning damage and you have this uh, on her. Basically, the more lightning she gets hit with, uh, the more HP she recovers. So basically, she recovers by getting hit with lightning, which is really, really cool. Uh, mm, there's some cool builds you can probably do with uh, Illusious Nicole, where you can make her a tank, and she can probably tank some magic attacks or uh, physical lightning attacks. That would be really, really cool. But uh, nonetheless, that's a really cool TMR. The attack 45 is really nice. Then her featured abilities... Every four turns, you can use this storm cloud, deal physical damage to one enemy, boost damage of certain abilities, and fill on LB gauge. Really nice. The magnet, the magnet, the magnetizing strike. That was really hard to say. Uh, deal partial and mitigated damage and reduce lightning resistance for one enemy and fill on LB gauge. Now, the real question is which family are you going to chain with, my friend? Which family are you going to chain with? Then she gets storm brand. Deal partial and mitigated lightning damage to one enemy and add lightning element to physical attack and fill LB gauge for self. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We're gonna move on to Sylvie. Really high on MP and uh, she has a really cool move that we're gonna go over. But first, her super trust master. Spring basket, it's basically a shield. Defense 45, spirit 94, so that's really cool. HP and MP 10%. Boost lightning, earth and light resistance by 50%. And boost fire, ice, water, wind, and dark resistance by 5%. Nullify stone and paralysis. Par paralysis. I'm having a hard time this morning. Uh, enables exciting surprise. Sylvie only. Boost HP and MP 10%. Really cool. Then her trust master and, and accessory. Twin bunny clips. Defense and spirit plus 35. Boost lightning, earth, and light resistance by 15%. And fire, ice, water, wind, and dark resistance by 5%. Enables... Hoppy Memento, boost HP and MP 10% and fill LB gauge every single turn. So that's basically on any single character. That's really, really nice. Her featured abilities, uh, you can use this one every 11 turns. Boost attack, defense, magic and SPR. And uh, resistance to attack, defense, magic and spirit reduction for all allies. And enables triple the fun for one turn. Uh, hmm, I wonder what's the boost, maybe 150%. To all stats, that would be really, really cool. Or 160%, we never know. But uh, that's pretty cool. Then, triple the fun. Enable specific abilities to be used three times in one turn. Here's a present. Now, that's basically the cool one. Uh, enables bunny kick and I hair 
No, and and here I go for one ally for three turns. So basically, bunny kick deals partial and mitigated damage to one enemy. Here I go enables specific abilities to be used twice in one turn. Now the thing is, uh, here's a present. So basically, if you have two characters, you can probably make them chain together. Now the real question is, deal partial and mitigated damage to one enemy. Uh, is it a chaining move? Is it a multiple hit move? Is it one hit? Uh, that's the real question. Because if you can get if you can give this to any character, you can basically make any two characters or three characters chain together. So that thing could be really, really nice. And uh, I'm really, really anxious to see the data mine on this girl. Because this could be really, really cool since uh, you can make any character chain. So that's really, really cool. And uh, basically, Xon and Aiden, not that much to say. They've been in the game for a long time. But this guy right here uh, is super trust. Uh, is super trust master. It's trust master, guys. Is actually really really nice defense 40 spirit 35 and restore mp every turn so if you guys still don't have something good to put on your healers uh this thing right here is really good because that mp recovery is crazy nice then last thing we're gonna go over right here the ability awakening on april 18 the update you guys will be able to awaken the abilities of amelia ozetta killian schilt lulu but mostly Yuna, Aranea, and Prompto. And Yuna, uh, if they did a little bit the same that they did in JP, she's going to be really, really good. She's going to be back to a really, really good healer. So if you guys don't have a good healer, uh, she's going to be really, really nice to use. And uh, Prompto, my boy, you can still chain with Sephiroth. And Aranea, I want to see the data mine on this girl because uh, I want to see how much damage she can do. But nonetheless uh these are gonna be interesting to see once the data mine comes out so if the one that's one of your favorite characters right here guys that's one thing you're gonna be able to look up for and one more thing uh basically one of the type zero events is coming back uh let me check what it is right here so type zero uh the event dungeons the battle of judaica uh basically this event is gonna come back and if you guys never got the defender's dagger for um what's your name um I forgot her name. Wait, fast. For Rem, there you go. If you guys never got the Defender's Dagger for Rem, there's your chance to basically get it from uh, the Minister Mog. Uh, she's, they're going to come back with a bonus unit. So Rem is going to be a 200% bonus unit if you guys have her as a 7 star. King is going to be 75% and Slice 50%. So if you guys never did that event, it's coming back. You guys will be able to farm the stuff and basically get some stuff at the Minister Mog. So, whoo, that was cool. Let's go back right here because I find these characters really, really cool and super, super hot. So, uh, that's one thing. So, yeah, this is coming out this week, guys. Uh, I'm really interested in seeing Sylvie or stuff or kit. And Esther, I want to see how much damage. And who do you chain with? Other than guys, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know down below if you guys are excited for this banner or are interested in those characters. Leave a like down below, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.